Shut up. You cheated at kickball, Carrie. Did not. Did too. Shut up. No, you shut up. Stop. No, do. Get up. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're gross. <laughs> that was Doug? You're telling me I fell on Doug? Yep. This is unbelievable. Do you remember this? Not really, but I got my armpit hair that summer, so I was pretty much wrapped up in me. <laughs> Do you know what this means? We met as kids. We met before and didn't even know it. It's like we were meant to be or something. Well, I'm all for that. <laughs> so, 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 so tell me more about what happened afterwards. Did we talk? Mm, yes, uh, some words were exchanged. And then Doug started to cry. Oh, my God, we actually spoke to each other. This is so great. Morning, all. Morning. I trust you like your juice from Concentrate. <laughs> Martha. I'll just place it here. Enjoy it when you're ready. You know, I've been thinking about this wedding. I don't want to take all the glory for myself. You're entitled. You are the father of the bride. So her mother claimed. Still, <laughs> I'd like to include you both in the process. Oh, well, thank you. We should throw a big party for Carrie and Doug every year and switch off paying. How about you two pay this year? <laughs> Do you need some help paying for the wedding? Well, I must admit, I'm a little short on liquid assets right now. How much do you need? All of it. <laughs> hmm. Well, you know what? Joe and I would be happy to pay for the wedding. What just happened here? I'm not sure about this. Carrie would be very disappointed in me if she knew. Well, don't worry. Nobody needs to know. As far as anyone else is concerned, you are still paying for everything. I will pay you back with interest. Actually, interest seems a little over the top. <laughs> anyway, hey, it was a pleasure hey, discussing hey. the Monroe Doctrine with the two of you. Hey. So how did your meeting go with Father McAndrew? Oh, it was great. He's all pumped up. He's like the Catholic Hulk. <laughs> he was always interested in physical fitness. Yeah. Oh, and this is weird, too. He said he remembered that me and Carrie met when we were kids. No kidding. It was the summer of 77. Apparently, we went to church camp together. Gary got into a fight with someone and fell on me, and I choked. It's a whole sweet story. Wait, wait, wait. That didn't happen to you. That happened to me. What? Yeah. Some girl fell on me at Camp Unity. I choked, then I cried, then I got a bump up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Father McAndrew said it was me. He said he remembered yelling Heffernan. My name is Heffernan. Actually, summer of 77, you weren't at Camp Unity, Doug. That was the year you went to fat camp. Football camp. Hey, Coach, why don't we play football? Just keep running. <sighs> yeah, Carrie fell on me, not you. Hey, <laughs> maybe me and Carrie should be getting married. You should be singing at our wedding, huh? It was fat camp? <laughs> I wanted to tell you. Hey, amigo. Hey, man, how's it going? It's great. You know, spread my wings, enjoy my freedom. What brings you here? Carrie asked me to meet her here. Oh, well, welcome to the rest of your life, Fido. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hey, bridesmaids, huh? Bride's pit crew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you're just in time. I was just about to tell them how we met at Camp Story. Oh, you know what funny thing about that no, story? Let me tell it, okay? So I'm up on the bleachers, I'm fighting with the skank. She pushes me, I fall on this boy, and it turns out this boy is Doug. <gasps> Shut up. Mm -hmm. We actually met as kids and didn't even know it. OK, I chill. Oh, my god, so do I. Oh, my god, I don't. Because it's a dumb story. <laughs> Excuse me. That dumb story got rid of all my wedding jitters. It was like I was totally freaking out. We go to the church, and the priest just hands me this, this sign from God. Total sign from God. And you just know. You just know. Right, sweetie? You know it. <laughs> So apparently this camp story is the only thing that keeps Carrie from barfing at the thought of marrying me. And, and it's not even true. Right, right, I see your problem. Are there any more bugles in there? <laughs> so what, what do I do? I mean, do I tell her the truth or do I, I just leave it alone? Leave it alone. Yeah, but if I leave it alone, that's the first lie of her marriage. I mean, I know there'll be others. <laughs> but this just kicks it off so early. <laughs> leave it alone. What were you saying? Like, Carrie's so out of my league that I can only get her to marry me on a lie? Just leave it alone. <laughs> 
I believe you. Oh, come on, man. It's not a big deal. I mean, women are just different. They need to think there's some magic fairy dust sprinkled over everything. See, all a man needs to know is that he's getting something special on his birthday. <laughs> so leave it alone and let her believe. I guess. Wait a second. After you're married, it's not just on your birthday, is it? You'll see. <laughs> oh, I gotta roll. Oh, oh, wait, man. I got your uh, best man gift right here. Hold on. Here you go. It's a flask. Okay. You, you don't like it? No, it's great. I mean, if I ever develop a serious drinking problem, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll get good use out of this thing. They told me it was the classic best man gift. You don't like it. Take it up with Manny at the House of Pewter. Look, I love it, okay? Look, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Mr. Spooner, let's review your choices. Now, the reception will start with the raw oyster bar and an assortment of appetizers. The main course will be prime rib. And for dessert, we have individual creme brulees served with a raspberry and plum reduction. Wonderful. I would also like to add a traveling cart with a selection of rare single malt scotches. <laughs> okay, but just so you know, that'll be pretty expensive. This is my daughter's wedding. Money is no object. <laughs> Hey, how you feeling, huh? You feeling ready? You feeling good? I'd feel a lot better if my future wife didn't need a fake sign from God to marry me. Come on, man, we already talked about this. Hey, I know it'll make you smile. Check this out. Mmm, mmm. Flaskalicious. What, are you drunk? No, no, see, I I'm cheering you up, telling you how much I like your flask. Whatever, you're acting drunk. Dude, it's Snapple. You know what? I don't like your gift. The only reason why I still have it is because Manny wouldn't take it back.